forces. Say hello to Ben. Ben is standing on Earth, where gravity is 10 newtons per kilogram. Unlike the moon, where gravity is less, at only 1.6 newtons per kilogram. A newton is simply the standard unit for measuring forces. But why does this matter? Well, weight is the force of gravity on an object, meaning Ben would weigh less on the moon than he does on Earth, because the gravity isn't as strong. But with gravity, you don't even need to be in contact with an object to experience its gravity. It's a non-contact force. Every object exerts a gravitational force on every other object. For example, the Earth is held in orbit by the Sun's gravity, even though the two are 93 million miles away from one another. So what other forces are acting on Ben? Well, let's say Ben goes for a drive. What forces will be acting on his car? Well, it depends what the car's doing. When the car isn't moving, it's in equilibrium, meaning that all of its forces are balanced. But when the car is moving at a steady pace, neither accelerating nor decelerating, it is also in equilibrium with balanced forces. Seeing as the car isn't flying or sinking, even gravity is balanced with an equal and opposite force from the Earth. But if the car accelerates, then it is no longer in equilibrium, as the forces that push the car forwards are greater than the resistances, such as air resistance and friction, that the car will face.